Hello everyone, and welcome back to our Champions of Meandir gameplay video series. I'm Alvin, the designer and game director for Champions, and today I'm here with George and Nick. If you're new here and want to learn how to play this game, check out our Learn to Play Champions of Meandir video playlist. Link to it will be in the video description. Okay, let's go ahead and introduce the decks that we'll be playing today, starting with George. Hi everyone, I'm using my Neo Force deck. It's an Grindin, the personal trainer deck. It has blue and red. The theming of the deck is basically strong guys, quick thinkers kind of thing. So get ready. Super cool. All right, next up we have Nick. So today I'll be playing Eldrian, who as usual wants you to spam a lot of tokens. But a lot of times in the Eldrian deck, you like sit back and be like, hands off. My tokens are going to try to get uh, try to get a little messy on the board and maybe make some swings. Okay. I like that. Slightly aggressive Eldrian. Yeah. All right, and today I'll be playing Bufari, Beast Hunter. This deck is attempting to combine the power of swift denizens to the mix to see if I can utilize the power of attacking really fast to achieve victory. That's it for the intros. Mulligans have been completed. Let's begin the game. All right, so I will begin my turn by playing this card, the Hidden Crag, and then I will use my free draw. And then I will use my one gold to put a search counter on the Hidden Crag and pass it over to you, George. Nice opening. I start things off by taking in one gold, and I would like to start things off with playing the Crowded Stadium. And I will put in one gold as well. Cool. And I will also draw that free draw, that sweet, sweet free draw. Pass my turn over to Nick. All right. My turn starts with gaining gold. We'll drop statue. I think I know what I'm going to play, but we'll take a free draw first just to see. Yeah. We got our bees. We got our one drop. Whoa! Scary. And we'll use the statue's ability, the arrival, to give bees a little more health. No! Um, I think that's going to be it. Pass the turn. Scary. All right. Get my gold for turn. So I will play this location, the isolated cottage. I will take my free draw. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and play Young Adventurer for two gold. And Young Adventurer has an Expedition ability, which is currently unlocked because I played the location. So I'll go ahead and activate it to give him plus one, plus one. And then I will pass it that way. Okay, we are at two gold now. And I play the Stubborn Mercenary for one gold. And I use my last gold to put into the crowded stadium. All right. So you get to draw a card. You still haven't used your free draw, so just remember. And I also play Statue of the Wise Teacher. Very nice. Which gives plus zero, plus one. So that gives my stubborn mercenary three, wow. four. And I have a free draw. And I am drawing it. Play Dangerous Path. Is a rival. Look at the top card of your deck. You may put that card on the bottom of your deck. I'm not going to do so. And I'm out of things to do. And I will pass my turn. All right. My second turn, my second goal. I will lead with a Verdant Path. Use its arrival. Look at the top card. It's a pretty good card. We'll leave it there. It is a free draw. And I will also drop another location, Statue of the Reconqueror. Oh, no. I'm going to give my bees with its arrival one more health. Uh... I'm going to use uh, this time to abandon okay. that Verdant Path for a abandoned draw. Play a Forceful Debt Collector. Ooh, okay. I will make an attack Okay. my bees into your adventure because the adventure grows and uh, the Stubborn Mercenary does require some payment, so he's not necessarily in the space to do that immediately. And uh, that'll mark the end of my turn. Pass. Sounds good. My adventurer's adventure had only just begun, but he got stung by a bee. All right, get my gopher turn. Free draw. So, I think I will spend this turn playing Liberation of Benkai. Yeah, I'm kind of sad that I don't have my adventurer, but yeah, as much as I wish I had my dude around, that was probably the right play. Pass it over to you, George. Okay, so now I am at free gold. I will take my free draw now. I play the tactic Use Trickery for one gold, turning my stubborn mercenary crafty yeah all right george i mean that's a pretty good play uh, da, da, da. and i also play strength training yeah all right george 
It's pretty uh pretty spicy plays. Thank you. I will abandon Crowded Stadium for another draw. I think that's enough for now. Pass. All right. My denizens stand no chance since yours, so it's, it's hands off. <laughs> My turn, which will start gaining three gold, lead with a free draw. I think it's time for our champion to play Eldrin. Yeah. Get some point scoring. I'll use his arrival, fetch a non unique location card. I will reveal to you slave cells. Ah. Uh... So mm. good. Mm. And then uh, my denizens are going to go ahead and make an attack into it. Yep. I'm trying to free, get some more pals, and then use a forceful deck collector's aggression to gain one gold. And with that aggressive one gold, I will spend it on marked map. Very um, cool. So your deck collector doesn't even turn hostile because you attack something that you control. Very sweet place. Right. right. And then we will be done with the turn. At the end of turn, I will gain two points from Eldrian. On the board. Yeah, that's bad. Nice. All right, awesome. Begin my turn, get four gold, put a phase counter, free draw. So at the beginning of the video, I talked about how this deck was all about attack speed. So I'm going to showcase that now. So I'm going to go ahead and spend three gold to play Mufari, the Beast Hunter. And then I'm going to use one gold to activate his second ability to give... Nick, why don't you go ahead and create yourself a Mufari's quarry token? Wow. So I'm going to go ahead and utilize what I believe to be one of the strongest combinations in the game, which is Liberation of Benkai with Mufari. So I'm going to have Liberation of Benkai activate, giving this denizen the ability to attack twice because it'll increase his attack limit by one and also to make him swift until end of turn. So I can actually attack right away. I'll go ahead and attack Mufari into Mufari's quarry token. All right. He'll deal three damage to yours, two damage to mine. And then I'll go ahead and attack one more time into Mufari's quarry. And he does not leave because he deals the three damage first. And when Mufari's quarry leaves, I score five points. <laughs> Huge. Um, all right. So yeah, I think a pretty productive turn. I'll go ahead and pass it over to you, George. Awesome. Okay. So I get my gold and we start phase one of strength training. Play Grindin. You will also play history education. And we will also play another Statue of the Wise, which we will give HP to Grindon, getting him nice and healthy. Oh, and uh, my free draw. I activate Strength Training to give my Stubborn Mercenary plus one power. And when I end my turn, Stubborn Mercenary allows Grindon to give me three points. All right. Uh, my turn starts with the gold I gain, and then we'll take a free draw. Cool. We gotta, I think we gotta keep developing the board here, so I will make some attacks. Crafty and arranged, I can't do anything versus those. I think it is Grindon, nah. We'll just, we'll just make the attacks to the slave cells, mm -hmm. like so. Yeah. Get your and boys. And then at least play. Free your boys. In comes freed. Very nice. Do these runaways. Uh, I mean, I guess we should just drop the other one and have... Have Eldrian do the same. I can attack yep. in. Make some progress on that guy. This is very cool. Three tokens, you know? All right. Yeah. And then, yeah, for, in addition to making more tokens, we'll spend three on a work the fields. Yep. And I will use uh, Forceful Deck Collector's Aggression to go up one gold. So much value. I think we should just commit even more. All in. Drop yeah. a Grey Wolf. That's the way to play Eldrian, right. I think. Yeah. I can't be afraid of what you guys do. You got to attack your own denizen. Exactly, yeah. George's denizens, they're, they're going to take something out pretty soon, but uh, that's our thats our turn. We will uh, end and have Eldrin score me still two points. Very cool. I love all the denizens being committed to the board. Nice populated game. Get my gold for turn. Get my phase counter. All right, so let's see here. So the first thing I'm going to do is play Isolated Cottage, and then I will take my free draw, and then I will play this card, Treasure Hunter. And because his expedition is currently unlocked, I'm going to go ahead and use him now. Gain two gold. And now I'm finally going to use my Hidden Crag. It's a miracle it lasted this long without getting roadblocked. So I'll go ahead and put a second search counter on it to essentially go up one gold. So now I have five gold. I will use one of that gold to activate Mufari's second ability. George, why don't you go ahead and create a Mufari's quarry token, please? And thank you. Wow. All right, fantastic. And then... For my Swift. last four gold, I'm going to play the Barbarian Chieftain. Whoa, mm. swift and tenacious. Yes. Whoa. 
And then I'm going to go ahead and activate Liberation of Benkai's last phase ability. So up to three denizens I control become swift until end of turn and increase their attack limits by one until end of turn. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. That completes the campaign. So these guys can all attack right now and they can attack two times this turn. So let's wow. see here. Uh, the first attack of the Barbarian Chieftain is going into your Mufari's Quarry token, George. And then I'm going to have Mufari use his first attack on your Mufari's Quarry token. And when he leaves, I'm going to score another five points, going up to 10. Um, but that's not it. That's not the end. Of course it's not the end. So the so first more after that. attack of Treasure Hunter is going to go into your slave. Yep. And he's going to attack one more time into your slave again, dealing him one more damage and then getting rid of your slave. These two guys each have one more attack. I'm going to have this guy attack into your debt collector mm -hmm. and then i'm going to have mufari himself attack into the wolf demolished six attacks in a single turn because of liberation but that's going to be the last we see of liberation good card yes very very powerful with mufari among others which you may see as the game progresses so yeah i think that was a pretty nice productive turn go ahead george Okay, so turn five, five gold. I am on phase two of strength training, phase one on history education, use my free draw, and I am going to use history education to draw once more. I'm going to play Hidden Crag, and I'm not going to put any money into Hidden Crag as of yet, but I will also play Statue of the Great Conqueror. Wow, so many locations. Boosting my stubborn mercenary up to four or five. My Abandon for Statue of Wise Teacher, I play Embolden. Nice. Who are you going to? Grindon, and we're going to go to six, and we put Embolden into the inactive zone. And we will also put down, play two gold into Stubborn Mercenary. Payment counter, so he has now got a payment counter. Beautiful, so now he can attack. And now he can attack the Barbarian Chieftain. Yep. And Grindon can attack uh, Mufari. Very nice. Slowing out and down a little bit. And I still have one more gold. And we might as well play it now because we're running low on cards. History education. Cool. And I have an activation of this, which gives me... Oh, and routine also unlocks. Yeah. So you okay, got a so lot I of I'll... swollenness happening here. I, get... I guess I'll go... Five here and seven here, because why not? You guys can't stop me. <laughs> and I also score three points, because why not? When I end my turn, I gain three points, putting me at six. Very nice. Huge. Go ahead. Uh, all right, so my turn starts with gain gold and phase counter. Tell uh, those we'll fields. We'll just use this right away. Put a token into play of a Get farmer. That gold. We're getting there. Uh, might as well use it. Go up a gold. I'm going to use the marked map for one gold and go searching for a non-unique location. Non-unique. Got to be in here. So there it is. Everyone's favorite, ah, the fish yeah. market. Yeah, yeah Grand Fish yeah. Market. Ah, oh, smart. I uh, know we'll what that it. card does. Yeah, man. So we'll start with the arrival. Draw a card. I control the denizens for it. Um, I'll take the free draw for turn. I forgot I didn't do that as well. You know what? Why settle for one fish market when you can have two? Well... The Up double fish market. The, the double fish market. The double fish market. The hey, double fish. <laughs> double fish so market crazy. all the way. What does it oh mean? Oh my gosh! It is literally a barbecue going down at the pier. Everyone's there. <laughs> it's Sunday. Church is finished, and everyone is looking absolutely starved. What yeah. are you doing, Nick? What are they're, you doing? They're so, they're so famished. They ate all the way through the second one because I'm putting in the inactive zone. Wow. I'm abandoned to draw a card. Oh, man. Right. That was, Going what, away. four cards? Resources. It could be a big turn. We'll see. I'm feeling it. What was I was going to make an attack into your treasure hunter and then replay Eldrian, but... I mean, I guess I have all this stuff next turn as well. But yeah. it's the last thing I have, Nick. Come on. <laughs> well, you're up 10 points, so... True, I true. I feel like... Show no mercy. Yeah, they make a trade. Yeah. We'll just put him in the inactive, but we're playing him again. And use his arrival. Go searching for more locations. We'll just, let's get a, a statue. Reveal to you. Statue. Oh, statue. Shuffle. I know there's no toll collectors out this time to ruin all my fun. 
<laughs> Don't worry, friend. Taxation's theft here. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, okay. Do we need to use that? I don't think so. I think what we do is we drop down another wolf and see see if they can whoa, last whoa. around. We? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I guess the bees will also make an attack. Oh! <gasps> but you won't score a point. Yeah, you're not scoring points on this one, bro. I oh, mean, oh, right, right. Right. oh, 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 told me to shut up. He yeah, has basically. Cell blocks to destroy. Yeah, Is the bees aren't going to do anything least... versus Tenacious, I don't think. He prevents it. And Crafty, it's pretty hard because you're only worth one gold and you're only worth one hit. If you had better you're deadly, hit... but you're not very smart. Now, the bees know when to make an attack and when not to. So let's pass the turn. And at the end of the turn, I will have just the bees around. That's uh, enough for one point. Pass. Very nice. Okay. Get my gold for turn. Uh, use my free draw. All right. So now, George, I think I'm in a position where I got to make some deals, okay? Lay it on me. Yeah. So I'm going to play my Mufari, and I'm going to give you the Mufari's quarry token. Now, this is going to be very powerful for you because you are going to be able to score the points off of it. What? But what do you need me to not do? do my friend so what is just it? i understand how i'm winning in the situation that was already clear to me I yeah was i mean i i need you to leave leave me alone for just one turn like let my mufari stick around you know okay fair um, enough and you is have it, two is it george denizens? because that way george there... can make... go ahead go ahead Nick. go ahead i was wondering if it's george because you his denizens can destroy one and mine can't that's Not right so about. george george okay. can can get rid of my mufari so um, I'm I'm looking for one turn of amnesty and hoping that maybe he'll turn his denizens towards you for a turn and let me stick around. So I'm well, I'm offering this, this political play to I give you solve. a Mufari's quarry token. That's all I'll say about that. But anyways, okay. okay, I will play my Mufari now for three gold, and then okay. I'll spend one of that gold to give you a Mufari's quarry token. So go ahead and create that, Understood. and I have no way to get rid of it now. So it is going to deterministically become very big and scary. Um, all right, and then I'm going to abandon my isolated cottage, draw a card, and then I'm going to go ahead and play Explore the Unknown. Explore the Unknown. For my final two gold. Um, oh, ho, ho. Yeah, all right, so I'm hoping here. that this friendship gift will, you oh, will, it will. You'll use these to attack things that are not me. That's, that, that's oh, what I'm absolutely. hoping. All right, and with that, we will pass it over to you, George. Okay, so we're on turn six. Pick up some sticks. Uh, we're on phase two of history education one and phase one of history education two. We are on phase three of strength training. And I guess it's time to let slip the dogs of war. Uh, and by that, I mean, it's time to draw some cards. There's three (laughs) card draws. Oh boy. That's a lot of card draw. And we are drawing three cards. Nice pull. Uh, da, 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 da. Play battle cry. No, George. So I'm I'm sorry. You said I could. You said I had free reign. So I'm going to choose Mufari's quarry. And I'm going to choose stubborn mercenary, so that they can all be super stacked. I didn't jacked. say be so scary like, though. Grindin is saying, "Hey, I mean, a lizard came into the gym and said, hey, I want to get buff.' And I said, "Brother, don't you worry. Get on that bench.'" And he benched. Getting those reps. I guess we can put one gold into the hidden crag. Okay. Dangerous path has served its purpose. Let us abandon it. I use strength training, and I give Grindin a plus one. Man, look how swole he is. So swole. So so insane, bro. Too swole, in fact. One could argue. Uh, let's let's play a hidden waterfall. Okay. Good measure. For good measure. More locations. Yeah, you know, let's just location it up. Hidden Crag again. Yep. Also the familiar road. <laughs> also the familiar road. Wow. Just wanting, just need, I mean, I need three, I need three spaces anyway <laughs> for next turn. Yeah, so Mufari's quarry, uh, we're going to get you to her, uh, slap her this killer bee here, bud. Oh. And, you know, the stubborn mercenary, man, I send him out and do something and he gets it done. The Grey Wolf? Yeah, uh, we need to stop that. And yep. uh, my stubborn mercenary's got to do that. He takes no damage because he's crafty. He crazy. is very crafty. Now, Grindin here, he doesn't get out much. But guess what? Sometimes he wants to walk about and stretch it out. 
This diligent farmer was a good man, but he owed Grindon at least two gold. So guess what? <laughs> yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, boy. Brutal. And I will also still have one gold. So I'm going to put that into the hidden waterfall. I guess we just passed turn. And because I have such swole boys. Six I points for you. Six points. And I pass my turn. Right. Take it away, Nick. Start with the gold and a phase counter. I will put a doomed farmer into play. Doomed farmer. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we'll take a free draw. All right, all right. I'll play my own liberation of Benkai. Whew. Wow! And in a fish market. Mm -hmm, draw one mm -hmm. card. Hmm. Well, let's do our best. Uh, we'll try to make Eldrian make a swing into these slave cells. They're almost free. Yes. The horrible price of freedom. Come out and be attacked immediately. But yeah, we'll uh, then play a Black Moor Powder, and I will crack Black Moor Powder to make Rindon forget himself. Ah, uh, yes, that'll put a damper on the point gain. Oh, boy. All right, we will end the turn, gain zero points, and cast out then. Uh, all right, so get my gold, get my phase counter. Okay, so before using my free draw, I will use this Explore the Unknown to look at the top three cards, put one of them into my hand. Uh, I will put this card into my hand, shuffle the rest back. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to spend seven gold to play the Angry Mob. has six power and is swift, so I'm going to go ahead and attack with this right away, crashing into your Mufari's Quarry token. I'll deal six oh. damage to it and take four in return, and when this leaves play, I will score five points. Nice. Now I will go ahead and use my free draw. I think I will attack into Grindon to tax you for three. So Mufari is going to attack into your no longer ability Grindon because eight power just looks scary to me. I just want that off the field. Yeah. Um, all right. So yeah, I'll pass it like that. Go ahead, George. Okay. So money, phase four, phase three, phase two. So I have three draws. So I'm going to draw three cards right now. Put history education in the inactive zone. Give one gold and put another search counter in the hidden crag, giving me two gold and put another search counter inside the hidden waterfall. And now I have nine gold. Crazy. So now I summon Graydon again. He's back, but this time only four power. <laughs> but this time only four power. I also summon Watchtower Scout. All right. Um, I will put Statue of the Great Conqueror to the inactive zone to draw again. Yep. I should probably use this now before you guys stop me completely. I use Battle Cry. <laughs> yep. And I obviously give that to Brendan and yep, the Watchtower sure. Scout. Summon Statue of Great Conqueror. I will give this to... To whom? Grindon. All right, so you give the statue ability to Grindon to give him one more health. One more right. health. Um, yeah, no, I can't. You're angry, mob. Like, you'll just resummon Ufari, and there's no telling if you have another ability to make him swift again just to get the easy win. That's right. So, yes, I have to make this trade. Yep. You, you've done it to me perfectly. Stubborn mercenary right. attacks angry mob. Trade a rune. And uh, yes. Um, and don't forget, you have a uh, your insight is unlocked because you've drawn cards via history education. Right. Perceptive is now on Grindon. Yep. And my strength training goes to obviously Watchtower Scout. She's hitting the gym, and that's done now. And now I pass. All right, if Nick draws into Kazin, Freedom Fighter, he scores, what is that, seven points? Not puts him in the position. Our gold to... is up. That's our phase counters. Draw for turn. No, it's more than Start seven points. Eight, Start with least. a Kalnea. Ooh, Kalnea. I get to look at the top of my... Oh, Kalnea. Draw one. Draw a card. And they have Familiar Road, but that's for Abandon Mode. So let's not declare anything for its alignment. And... Every day's Wait, where's Familiar Road? road. I have to. I don't know how much, how many points this is, but it's probably quite a few. Do you have a KZ? Oh no! <laughs> Do it. 
do it. Right, yeah, I'm so trying. if it's Kazen, you get two from this, which you can instantly make swift and double attack. So it's one, Come two, on. three. Yugi my moto, bro. Come on. Settle four, my Kaiba. Five. It's at least eight, no, eight, nine. So yeah, he has at least nine points this turn if he has Kazen. Mmm, that's beef. The thing is, I, I think I need more shenanigans. So there is a Hail Mary. We got a, we got a, we got a chance. Ooh, here. more shenanigans, eh? So we'll, yeah, we'll just we'll drop some locations and worry about their arrivals later and make some ruin my hand. Yep. We'll start with an attack from Diligent Farmer into wow. Slave Cells. Okay. Right. Put into the inactive zone and... Combat. Combatant, play. because he's not staying here long. All right. And then we play yet another location, but it is a Grand Gymnasium. Ooh. I can two oh. the runway slaves. Draw one more card. This is Hit so the cool, gym. Nick. Got out the bin. Hit the gym. Guess what? Two cards within. This is so cool. So we will make another uh, work the fields token, finishing that campaign. Yep. Mm, money. Yeah. You probably have swifty answers in your hand, but yeah. Uh, we'll play you, that, that's it, Kazen. So this is at least nine points. <laughs> yeah. So Liberation of Benkai gives this and this and this swift, swift and increases and... their attack limit. That's right. This is the play. This is the play. This is the play. So crazy. Come on. <laughs> Can't remove Mufari, though. That's all I that's all I need to do is to like maybe There's nothing you can do. You can't, you, can't you can't yeah, you can't control you can't control how much gold he gets. Alright, there is a way there isn't. It's on the board. I only have two health to give, so Eldrian still gets ranged down. The only one who possibly could deal damage to him would be Kazen. Yeah. Okay. Then yeah, we'll just we'll just make all the attacks we can. So this and this and this do two attacks each into your hidden crag. Yep. So that's six attacks. And Eldrian seven will make an attack into Isolated Cottage okay. and so Kazen as attacks. well. Brutal. Yep. All right, then I'll gain one gold with the Farmer's ability. Hurts. I play a Traveling Caravan Hurts. and produce three Settler Tokens because I have uh, abandoned a location. Yep. Because you're too nasty. <laughs> Nick, you, you are insane. How many? Do you know me? Settlers are on the field. This right. guy. Uh, there's no more Swifties to give, so we will have no Kazen. more Swifties. No more Swifties. Well, I'll use Kason's aggression to one, two, three, score me two. nine points. Yep, nine point, nine huge points. Fourteen. And despite the Close massiveness it. of my board at this stage, Eldrian at the end of turn will only gain me one for this friendly farmer who did stick around. So I'm at fifteen. And you also have another. And now we um, on, on. You have one more of this from Kason's ability. Oh, true. That's right. So sorry. He comes in. I get another runaway slave. Wow. Damn. How many units is that? One, two, ten, three. Ten points in a single turn. And yeah. even if I get rid of Kazen, there's no way. I basically have to win minutes. on my turn. Jeez. Fifteen, 15 cards like, well, on the table. I'd be shocked if you didn't, side. but all right. Did what I could. All right. Oh, boy. So thankfully, though, I do have one more trick up my sleeve. So I'm going to play Bold Rabble Browser. And then I'm going to make my Mufari have attack limit plus one. Now I'm going to use one more gold to have George do the honors of creating Whoa. one more Mufari's quarry token for the game, please. Oh, and is this you winning? That's right. And we'll show the viewers how this operates. So Mufari's got two attacks. He's going to make the first attack into your Mufari's quarry. He's going to take two damage in return. And then for his second attack, he's going to attack one more time into Mufari's quarry, dealing the final three damage, removing wow. him. And scoring myself five points and taking the game. GG's, boys. But yeah, yeah. Nick, that was an insane turn. Your yeah, turn seven go, was Jeez. so, almost, so almost crazy. to pull it back. Yeah, if I just, uh, if you'd let me get a few more denizen points in from the start of the game, like instead of, you know, wisely removing them all, <laughs> I might have right. been at like 10 and then pushed it over the edge. But gotta keep all, gotta keep Aldrian's board clear, as we all know. And even with all that we did, and as far back as you were, you still got up to 15 points and also would have easily taken the game if I was not able to win on my turn. George did not have to win yeah. on board. So basically, I had that one single turn to take it, and then uh, and then you would have won that game. So as far back, as far behind as it seemed, you were very, very close to it's winning. Even, it, yeah. sucks, it sucks for me the most because I just got my two forceful debt collectors in that last draw in my last yeah. turn. I really hate to see them late. They, they want to be yeah. early to the party. Right. Yeah, the other secret deck was uh, in here was uh, Mauricio. So on a turn like this, I could also make like oh, attacks man. that they die off. Oh, but, man. Uh, 
that would have been seven more. He still he still didn't show up, so oh, that would have been would've too been much. Wow, so that is good. so that brilliant, been so delicious. I would have loved to see yes, that. Yes, because my I my Bufari would have essentially been oh. a, a turret. Imagine, imagine yeah. I get the K's in. Imagine he doesn't win this this, but you didn't have the win, Alvin. And then another turn happens, and I get the K's in, and I slay like five of his guys, right? Or like five or six of his guys, and then he pulls the Mauricio out. Oh, wow, the Mauricio! Yeah, that would have what taken it. Cool. And you had enough gold to pay the alignment Done. tax, I think, right? That was four. Yeah, one, yeah one that's turn. right. You could have one of the things I had in my hand was a, set up the a use force that I was hoping to like just pump out a bunch of stuff in one turn, but it just I probably would have been able to pay for everything with the use force after that attack and played no, a lot more. Oh, I see. You, you, it was oh, this yeah, also, I didn't nothing. really need this. Traveling caravan. That was just insurance in case something. That's right. You know, came back to me. So that is. I mean, these so were all great. really, really top-notch decks. I think because Alvin was like for sure coming from out of nowhere to just attack your tokens instead of having to like wait around on board and people see it coming. This was a really good Mufar usage by you. You really learned how to keep it minimal and effective and still make the win. But I feel like Mufari is more like an advanced character. Like you need GM knowledge to use him this effectively. But now that I know that Mufari and Liberation of Benkai is super good, maybe I'll start putting it in my a lot of my. Mm -hmm. Maybe I should start. I should really look into a Mufari and a Kazen deck. That's what. Yeah. Needs, well, that's there what you go. There's happen. an idea for for cool. another attempt. All right, that'll do it for today's episode. We hope you had as much fun watching as we did playing. Before we sign off for today, we'd like to remind you that we rely on viewers like you to help our channel grow. Liking, subscribing, and sharing are easy and free ways to show your support. If you're interested in joining us for a future episode, feel free to reach out and let us know in the comments. You can also leave comments to help us improve or just to tell us what you'd like to see next. Please join us again next week for more Champions of Meandir gameplay. Bye-bye for now. Later.